APA Day. This is Catherine Kerr with the Office of Federal Agency Programs at the ACHP. I am here at Tumon Bay in Guam with Mr. Patrick Lujan, who is the State Historic Preservation Officer for Guam. So, APA Day, Patrick. APA Day. Welcome to Guam again. Thank you. Now, where are we right now? Well, we're here at Tumon Bay, which is um, a very culturally rich area of our island, probably the, the most culturally rich area of our island, going back to 3,800 years. Um, so, you know, with the findings that we've had in just this area alone, uh, we've, we've come to uh, learn our ancient Chamorros, how they ate, how they lived, uh, their structure of, of their, their, um, their human bodies. Um, some of them were well preserved in the sand over all these years. So it's been a, a really good uh, learning just off of the off of the archaeological work that's been done on just this beach alone. It, it is it is absolutely gorgeous. It really is. And so, you're all invited to come. <laughs> so Patrick, uh, Section 106 in Guam. About how many cases of sex, uh, Section 106 consultations do you have in Guam every year? We're averaging over 100. Um, of course, we have several programmatic agreements that we have with the Department of the Navy that encompasses a lot of that work. Um, but with just Section 106, we, we're averaging over 100, and it's a lot for us um, with a staff of only 10, uh, with the reviewers of probably half of that, five or six of my staff. Um, and that takes into account all of our other local government reviews that are necessary. So it's it's been, um, you know, it's challenging, but yet we're trying to do our best and, and put out some really good reviews and good content. That's great to hear. Now, what about some preservation efforts in Guam? What what has your office been involved in lately? Well, with the history, the long history of our Chamorro people until the Spanish came of the Spanish area in the early 1500s with, with Magellan, uh, evolving into the American period of 1898 and then World War II in 1941 to 1944, there's, there's several periods of, of history that that we really cherish and, and, and hone into our, our island and our culture. Um, so we have Guam Preservation Trust that we work closely with, the University of Guam, and other major stakeholders that, that they, they hold near and dear of our culture and our history of, of what we're, we're learning and what we can still preserve in a small island that we have. So is that one of the most important reasons for preserving these types of sites, which, which you just sort of sort of touched on? Talk, talk a little bit more about that, why it's so important. Yeah, well, you know, Guam is in the middle of nowhere out here in the Pacific Island, right? <laughs> we're, we're so small in footprint and, and no pun intended, but we're, we're in the shape of a left foot, right? So from north to south, we have, it's 33 miles long. And, um, you know, from east to west, it's only seven miles. So it doesn't take long to get to, to find water, right? To find a beach to, to swim in. With that, um, over the years, especially with World War II and the destruction that the war did, to our island. Most people don't realize that, but it, it was. Um, there's very few left in place um, uh, historical sites that, that we, we have. And so that date we, back to the Chamoran, which is the indigenous population of Correct, Guam. correct. So we, we, we try to hold that as much as possible. Any project that we have that, that finds any uh, ancient Chamorro, what we call Ladi period oh, findings yeah. or pre Ladi period. So those are things that is most of most interest to us and uh, we want to continue to learn. That's awesome. Well, thank you so very much, Patrick. Yes. Truly appreciate it. Yeah. And if you heard it here, Patrick says, everyone is welcome to come and visit Guam. Yeah. This is, and they often say this is where America's day begins. It does, it does, because we're on the other side of the international date line, so what is tomorrow is today for us. Yep. I mean, it's hard to comp you know, comprehend sometimes. And I always like to tell the East Coast people or anybody that, that has like that white stuff on the ground. Oh, during, that's not saying. December. Oh, oh, that stuff, that yeah, white stuff. Yeah, yeah, during December or, or February or, or January, that's the time to come and visit us. <laughs> Thank you very much once again. You're welcome.